Robinson signs with the Brooklyn Dodgers, breaking the color barrier in big league sports. On a day that will go down in history, the Negro Ace of the runaway Montreal Royals. Shut the hell up, you dumb Pollocks. No offense, Jimmy. <laughs> what are they care if he's colored? He can hit. Yeah, but my uncle says boogies got smaller brains, so they, they can't work as hard or, or something. We only hit 349 in Montreal last season. I say that's working pretty hard, right, son? Yeah, I'd say that's working pretty hard, Mikey, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but I don't say shh. Devlin, to be sure. I'll see you tonight at dinner. And hey there, you stay, stay clear, clear of trouble. Money for that kid? This ain't no lending library. Here you go, Mr. G. What do you got there, kid? Nothing, Frankie. You got nothing, huh? You lying to me? Is he lying to me? Because I need a pack of smokes and I think he should help me out, don't you? Hey, leave the kids alone. What'd you say? I said leave the kids okay. alone. And I say mind your own business, okay? My store, my business. Hey, kid. I want to show you how to deal with you bastard like this, okay? It's your store. Yeah. It's your store. Yeah. Your store, huh? It's your store. You will no, not you get away. Stupid cat! Now you do it too, eh? Ah! 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 That's how you deal with a Jew bastard like this. Okay? What are you looking at? You see something, kid? Did you see something? I only want in the first place some smokes for creep's sake.
Michael Devlin? Yeah, you know Yasser Greenberg? No. Mr. G, man. Oh. Listen to that, Mike. Do you know what happened to him? Hey, come on, kid. What's the matter? You didn't hear the question? All right. Hey, Mike. What are we gonna do? Hang out in the hallway all day? Or are you gonna invite us inside? What do you say? Oh, boy, Mike. <clears throat> Anybody home? You know where Mr. G is right now? Yeah, he's laying in Kings County with a fractured skull. Chances are he ain't gonna walk out of there alive. Pretty sad, huh, Mike? Yeah. What was that, kid? Yeah. Yeah. Now, Mike, the way we figure it, you seen what happened. We figured that you seen Frankie McCarthy beat the hell out of that poor old Jew. I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, Mike. Pretty neat souls. Means you're an altar boy, doesn't it? You know something, Mike? Seems to me that you should know that lying is a sin. Then why are you lying to us, kid? You know what an accessory after the fact is? That's when someone witnesses a crime and they don't bother reporting it. Now, if Mr. G dies, the crime is murder. You keep your mouth shut, kid, and you're just as guilty as Frankie McCarty. And I will see to it that the body is get put away. Say, Mike? Is your dad? In the army, huh? So, uh, what's your dad doing now, Mike? He's dead. He's dead. In the war. That's a real tough kid. Let me ask you something, Mikey. Do you think that your old man died for nothing? No. He died for, for this. Do you think that your old man died so that Frankie McCarty could beat up some Jew? Is that what he died for, Mikey? Do you think that your old man would be proud of you? Are you covering up for a bum like that? Jesus, Mary and Joseph, what is this? Who the hell are you two bozos? Excuse me, ma'am. New York City detectives. We're investigating the uh, beating Get of Get out of my house. Yeah, now hold on a second here, lady. Your son knows exactly what Get out of my house or I'll throw you out. Sorry for the inconvenience, man. Mikey, I see you're on, kid. How much was that all about? Mr. G and Fra Frankie McCarthy at the, at the candy store. Yes, I heard the whole ugly tale. Poor Mr. G. Yeah, well, I was there. What? I seen it. Saw it. I didn't tell them. But why? Because Frankie... You just don't tell, that's why. Well, now. You're more of an Irishman than I thought. You know, in the old country, there was nobody lower than an inform. The bloody Brits used him against us for centuries. But this isn't the old country. And Frankie McCarthy isn't fighting for the cause. Is he? No. No. I ain't gonna squeal, Ma. But it isn't squealing, darling. It's... What? It's a hard thing to carry around for such a little boy. I'm not little. No. No, I keep forgetting. Well, you couldn't take comfort in one thing. A weasel like Frankie McCarthy won't last out there, I promise you. If the police don't get him, then God will. Hmm?
Hello. Please to come over. Hello. You speak English? No, no, no not to fear. I am the rabbi of the synagogue. Look. Yes. You see? Good. Then you can give me a help. I need a help. Uh, yeah, uh, Rabbi, uh, I'm an altar boy up at Sacred Heart. You know, a, a Catholic, and uh, I gotta make the 7.30 Mass. You have Catholic church on Shabbos? On who? Uh, no, Saturday. I told... Oh, yeah. Uh, Sunday, too. Even Wednesdays I gotta go sometimes. A lot of Catholics, I guess. Please. One minute it takes. Please? Yeah, okay. But, uh, it's gotta be fast, cause I... A little light is good, yes? Yeah, you see? You mean, turn it on? It's dark, no? Well, why don't you turn it on? It's not permitted. Today is Shabbos, and uh, it's simple, just yes, a dunk, a dunk. You? I see by the candy store. Huh? Yeah, I gotta go. I've been at the hospital. It's not good, poor Yossi. Hanging by a thread, they say. And the criminal who does this walks free the streets. I know much about criminals who walk free. So, for you. Uh, it was nothing. Well, cake. To be sehr good heartsick. Goodbye. And thanks you. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Mikey, you okay? Well, those two cops look like Abbott and Costello. Yeah? They came to my house. Oh, man. What'd they say? They said Mr. G might be dying. Oh, man. They said they knew I was in there, and I seen it. And they said they're gonna put me away if I don't tell on Frankie. You better not tell. I didn't tell. Because if you tell, you end up with the mark of the squealer. Oh, what's that? It's where they take a knife, and they stick it in here. Then they slice it all the way down to here so that everybody knows you got a big mouth. Jeez. I didn't tell, and I ain't gonna tell. Anyways, my uncle says Mr. G got what he deserved. Here we go. Who's that supposed to mean, Jimmy? He's a heap. Back in the old country, heaps would have been killed because they're the ones who killed Jesus, and they got a pay. Jesus was killed, what, 5,000 years ago? I guarantee you, Mr. G wasn't there that day. My uncle says... Jimmy, your uncle is an idiot. He's not. Yes, he is. He's not. Yes, he is. Shh, He's not. not. Ah, quiet. We gotta be fighting about Jews for. We got enough problems right now. By the way, Jimmy, your uncle is an idiot. It's not. He's too. Quiet. You're in church, boys. Get in line now. Anyway, I just met a rabbi, and he seemed like an okay guy. A you? Rabbi? Jimmy, up front on the double. Honestly, boys. Better move on. Nice and slow. and a trap door opens? Look, Jimmy, I'm still here. How do you know he didn't hypnotize you? Jesus, save us. Wait, wait, wait. Mikey, wait. This could be good. What do you mean? The treasure. 
Don't tell me he's never heard of the treasure. All the Jews, they give money and gold and stuff to the rabbi. But the rabbi, he don't put it in the bank, see? He hides it. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, ask anybody. They got treasure hidden up in there. So? So? What, are you slow or something? You got a foot in the door. Go all the way in. Find the treasure. You mean, so we could steal it? Oh, man. Nah, nah. Not steal it. Take it back is what I'm thinking. Yeah, take it back. Yeah, it's all money they got from rents and charging too much in stores and like that. Oh, yeah? There's only one catch to this great plan of yours, son. Huh? There ain't no treasure. It's two. It's not. It's two. It's Mikey, not. Hang on. It's two. Mikey, hang on. You believe in Captain Marvel, but you don't believe in this. Yeah. Who believes in Captain Marvel? You told us last year. It was last year. So this year, you go up to the friggin' synagogue and see what you can find. What's it gonna hurt, Michael? Unless the rabbi hypnotizes you. <laughs> <laughs> Jews. Persecution, hardship, and war have marked a long story of the Jews. The woman who took a city single-handed, Israel's Jewess. Please, come in. I make a glass tea. Oh, no, no, no. Um, I was just wondering uh, if you found anybody. You know, to turn your lights on? Ah, uh, no, no. <laughs> a Shabbos guy I did not find. What? Shabbos is Sabbath. Friday night it starts for Jews until Saturday the sun goes down. And Goy is anybody not Jewish. So Shabbos Goy mean a person who come on the Sabbath to turn on the lights, turn on the stove, da 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 da, like that. We can't do. That's the rules to honor God. Yes? Ah, you find my treasure. Your what? My books. It's all I have but treasure, no? You like books? Yeah. Well, one's in English. What is this? Jewish? No, that is Yiddish. The language of the peoples. Language. 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 Good, good, good. I need your help. Please to tell me when I'm making a mistake. Well, what's with this, um... You hiding something in there? No, it's too sanctuary. Big room for services. Only not enough juice in the neighborhood for use it. In Prague, where I am from, we have honored 200 people every Shabbos. A joy. A joy. You know Prague? No, but I do know one thing. That's Judas from your part of the Bible. No, that is Leah, my wife. She looks just like Judith. She's staying here too in, in this um No. She's dead. Oh. No. I'm sorry. It's hard for a boy to understand that. My father's dead too. Excuse. I am a fool. I think I am the only person with someone dead. It's okay. No. That is not okay for someone so young. Forget it. I'm sorry about your wife. You're sorry about my father. Or even. Even, yes. Okay. Come, sit. 
No more that. A glass tea instead. But wait, to truly test the tea, we must first the sugar. Yes? Sugar. Good? Yeah, it's great. Great tea. But in Brooklyn, great tea finds hard. It's hard to find. It's hard to find great tea. Great tea is hard to find. <sighs> English is very hard. I try to teach myself, but... Look. What can this mean? Oh. Well, that's about baseball. See, the flock is the Brooklyn Dodgers, which uh, used to be called the Robins, which are birds, you know, Robin Redbreast. Anyway, um, so in the paper, they still call them the flock, but nobody else does. They just call them the Dodgers, and them bums. Them bums, yes. Good. What is bums, please? Uh, a bum is a worthless person, a tramp. So you don't like the flock? No, we love them. Except when they lose, then they're... Then they are bums. Yes. So, Robbie then, he's a bum. No. Uh, that's Jackie Robinson. The Dodgers just signed him to play. He'll be the first ever colored big leaguer. What color? No. <laughs> that means Negro. Um, first ever Negro big leaguer. What is big leaguer? It's... Uh... It's kind of complicated. Yes, but uh, if I'm to be in America, I must learn. Baseball? Everything. Everything. You teach me? Oh, well, I don't know. Oh, you are smart. You could teach me. I know this. Now, money I don't got, but I could teach you Yiddish. You give me English, I give you Yiddish. Gee, Rabbi, I don't know. I got school, and, um... You really think I could learn Yiddish? Sure thing. Like that you learn. What you say? Deal. Ha! Yes! Deal! What's the little kite play? I'm, uh, I'm, 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 I'm gonna teach him English, that's all. Well, you'll freaking teach him now? You wouldn't teach him nothing you shouldn't know, would you? No. No? I uh, hear you had a couple of visitors the other night. You didn't teach them nothing, did you? No. I ain't a squeal, Frank. I'm... Well, you better not be. Because if something bad happens to me, teach. And I'll be back. That's what Frankie McCarthy does. Frankie McCarthy pays back. You understand? That's a hickey. Ha ha. What are you gonna do? He's gonna keep his mouth shut. Right? Shh. Right? Ah, sorry, sorry. I am in hospital. Are you sick? No, no, for curiosity. Oh. Okay, dokie. Come. Let's see what I do. I make piece of paper for each thing in room and write on it. One English, one Yiddish. Good? Good. 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 How is he? Yes, sir. Not good. Now, where is this? 
Table. Table in Yiddish is tish. See it? Tish. Tish, good. Um, is he still in a, you know, a coma? Yes. Eyes closed, tubes in arms. Ah, Shanda, what is this? Uh, wall. Wall. Wall is want. Say it. Want. Want, good. Again? Want. Want. Um, is he a... Uh, uh, it... Um. Door? Door. In Yiddish, Tia. Say it. Uh, is he gonna die? It is in God's hands, Michael. Why you want to know all this, this terrible things? Why do you want to know all these terrible things? something in this life, don't we? We do. Come on, let's catch a rug, you and me. I don't know. Don't be shy. Oh. Aren't you the smooth one? Just like your doll. Now there was a dancer. First time he took me out. Did I ever tell you this, darling? No. Tommy Devlin come to pick me up. He was so handsome. He asked me, would I like to go dance and dance? And I said, I can think of nothing I'd rather do. He took me out to Feltman's in Coney Island. And we danced. All night. Till the band quit and the sun come up. Still, I didn't want to stop. I could have kept dancing with Tommy Tempt forever. Oh, boy, chick. It's for you. We've got a new one, so it's not the greatest, but it works. A radio for me? A dunk, Michael. A shine em dunk. A shine em dunk. Let's see if we can get anything down here. Yes, hey, such a more. Yes, I know. You think I was always a rabbi? You know this song? And sing! Sink, sink like the boys. They took a reed, jungle beat. Brought it to Basin Street. That's how jazz was born. Jungle beat. Someone fade away. From the drums. I get, I get. All up and down the scale. That's how jazz was born. And when the horn made a scream, they took it as a theme. And that's how jazz was born. Yes, dos. There. Yeah. Hermann Göring and ten other Nazi arts from Conspirators. Conspirators. Conspirators were condemned. Condemned. To condemned to hang. Ha! The mumsas. Double play is two runs? No, um, two outs. How is explained Southpaw? Uh, that's a left hander. What is a three beggar? Suitcase? <laughs> no, um, uh, a triple. Runner safe at third. What means picked off? Caught stealing. You're out! 
The Declaration of Independence. Mm, 1776. Mm-hmm. Constitution? 1783. Who has the 10th president? That's not going to be on the test. That means you don't have to know? Study is to make you wise, Michael, for life. It is the tradition of the Jews. But I'm a goy. You are? Show is over. Show is over. Show is over. <laughs> oh, uh, wow. Look who we got here. Hey, eight little tough guys all in a row. That's all right, fellas, we'll take it from here. Thank you very yes, much. Sir. So, look at this. We got Falcons, huh? Not bad. Not bad at all. Does your mama know you're smoking, tough guy? Huh? How you doing, Billy? Good to see you again. Look what we got here. Number one tough guy, huh? Yeah, that's right. This is our old buddy, Mr. Frankie McCarty. That's right. In person. Oh, oh, you, Frankie? Oh, oh, oh. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. You don't want to get him angry, do you, Frankie? Am I? I don't know. What do you mean you don't it know? It is the devil, kid. What? Call the penguins. There was... Man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Hey. Hey, you. Devlin. Stay right here, Frankie. See him. Good luck. Come here. Come on, Mikey. Come over here. Don't worry, nobody's gonna bite you. Come on, Mikey. So, Mikey, how you doing? Okay. Hey, okay is good. Now, uh, maybe you remember something since the last time we talked? No. Oh, no? What's about I take you over there to see Frankie McCarty and uh, you could reminisce with him? I told you I don't know nothing. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Come here, Mikey. Relax, relax. Take it easy. Now, look. Maybe it's about time you got this thing off your chest, huh, kid? Maybe you sleep a little better. I gotta go. He's gotta go. All right. Come on. Thank you for coming. Oh, the girls are gonna cry at your graduation, Mr. Devlin. Ma, would you listen to me? They were watching the two cops talk to me. I understand. I mean, what are they gonna think? Frankie was looking right at me. I seen him. So, I try this on. I know you're worried, son. I'm sorry. I'm sorry we live in such a rotten neighborhood. If I could, I'd take it away to a fine place. You know I would. Yeah. But you've got to know this, too. Frankie and his boils are nothing but a pack of stupid cowards, Michael. You must never let them scare you. Never. You understand me? Oh, now. Uh, a miss, he looks like a man. How much is it, Mr. Edelbaum? For you, Mrs., $14. It's very dear. S is Zayer Tire. What? But I thought you're Jewish? Irish. <laughs> well then, three dollars off for the Irish. You're kidding? Uh, and glazel tay? Um, bitte. Zeit that's all good. Well, do you like it? What's not to like? We'll take it. Ah, good, good, good. Thank you. Thank you. Lang Leben's old ear. God bless America. Amen. 
He said, um, that'll be $14. And I said, S is Zyre Tire. <laughs> he just about croaks right there. Took $3 off. Ma couldn't believe it. <laughs> she is very proud of you, yes? I guess. Robinson makes his turn. Here's the throw to second, but Jack is in standing. Yeah. And the Dodgers are sitting in the catbird seat here in the bottom of the eighth with three runs in the catbird seat. What? In America, they have birds look like cats. Red Barber. I love this man. He's a communist? Oh, no. He has red hair. Oh, sure. Yeah, I get. Okay, dokey. Let's see. Hmm. 12, 20. Wow. 296. That's some average, huh? That's a rookie of the year average. You think? Good. But you know what? They're still yelling on him. Nigger. They yell. Go pick cotton. I don't get it. I don't get it. They wish he was white. But he's not white. Do you wish he was white? No. Well, it'd be easier. No, 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 no. No. What God gives is good. What God gives is good. God gives Jackie Robinson black skin. So that is a good thing. And here's why. He is, oh, I don't know why, he is there for all the colored people who get yelled on and hated, and not just the colored, anybody, anybody, you, Michael, a Catholic. When you are hated, Jackie Robinson is a Catholic. When Jews are hated, Jackie Robinson is a Jew. Understand? I guess. Sure. He stands there for all of us. Well, except the schlemiels who do the yelling on him. Who are these Meshuganers anyway? Ah, you and me, we know who they are. Like the one who beat up poor Yossel. Hmm? Right. Meshuganers. All the bottles. Yeah, we get one cent for each bottle. Four man. We got a fortune here. Oh, gee, this was the place. Oh, he was right for a change. This could be great. Oh, it's Captain Marvel with oh, new dreads. Oh, it's Billy Benson. Yeah, yeah. My mom made me wear him. You know, what could I do? No, no, you look sharp, Mikey. Don't you look sharp, son? Yeah, for an undertaker. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you been with the rabbi? Yes. And? And, have either of you ever really looked at the rabbi? Or are you afraid he might hypnotize you? He couldn't hypnotize me. Yeah, you gotta have a brain to be hypnotized. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, he's got one old shiny suit, a pair of shoes, look like they've been burnt. That's a, 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 what do you call it, a, a, a disguise. Jimmy, if there was a treasure, he could just uh, take it over to New York, sell it, and go someplace nice. What's he got to be in that crummy synagogue for? To fool us? OK, you got me. I found the treasure. You did? Yeah. And you wasn't going to tell us? I knew it. The rabbi done something to him. You want to know what it is or not? Yeah. yeah. Yeah? Yeah! Yeah? Mikey. All right, all right. It says books. Books? That's all he's got to his name. A shelf full of books to learn from. That's his treasure. Nah. Me. Books. You want me to steal them? Because I'll steal them. Because I know how much the both of you like to read, especially in Yiddish. Fine. Consider it done. Uh, 
you catched me. Caught. I thought you was gone to the graduation. Nah, just not till... What is that thing? This is a shofar. It is the horn of a goat. It is used for services to call people. Only I make music with it. Benny Goodman. This why you come back for a concert? No. Rabbi. 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 I came back because... What? Because I know... I know who... I know who beat up Mr. G. You know? I was there. I watched him do it. You've seen this? So. And you don't go to the police? I can't. I'm not a squealer. A rat. A canary. I don't tell. Oh. You keep quiet. So a criminal bum walks free. No! No. It's... It's what? Tell me. I ain't making you go to the police. I say only this and not another way. Sometimes you keep quiet about a crime. It's just as bad as the crime. Believe me, I know. No, you don't know, Rabbi. You don't know Frankie McCarthy. You don't know what he could do to me. Uh, no, I get. You are scared. Yes. Well, it is no shame to have fear. You know what the Jews feel when the Nazis come into Prague? They are just like your Frankie and the Falcons, a gang of criminal bums. Only they got guns and tanks and bombing planes. Such fear it makes you a child. You pee in your pants. That much fear. What did you do? I? Oh. Um, but I tell you a story from when the Jews did something. Look. Prague. Beautiful, yes? Yeah. And look, look. The greatest of all, Judah Leo. I'm named from him. Almost 400 years ago, he was the rabbi of Prague. Well, at the fifth quarter, which was where uh, they kept the Jews. A ghetto. Yes, smart boy. And in the ghetto, the Jews live okay, except from time to time they have the pogrom, when the soldiers come in beat, kill. The Jews don't know why, they just bear it. But not Yuda Leo. He hears a pogrom is going to happen, and he says, no, not this time. Now, Yuda Leo is a master of the Kabbalah. You know what it is? No. Magic. Magic? Magic. It is the terrible secret book of the Jews. And with it, the great rabbi can do wondrous things. He can make castles out of the air and snow in August. And he can make a golem. Frankenstein. The golem that cannot be destroyed. The golem who got only one purpose in life, to protect the Jews. So, one night, Yudaleo dresses in holiest white and goes down to the banks of the Voltava, and there he takes the silver spoon of creation 
and with it he makes the shape of a man a giant man out of the clay like Adam was made out of clay then from his pocket he takes the sham the holy parchment with the secret word of God on it and he puts it in the mouth of the clay monster then on the forehead he writes a word in Hebrew emet truth and he dance and dance and speak the secret name of God over and over and there comes a light from the clay a heat a glowing brighter and brighter red it burns until the column rises up up and up over seven feet he stands alive and the Leo leads it back to the ghetto and when the soldiers come in the golem rises up and beats on them destroys them drives them back the Jews are saved that time almost 400 years ago the Jews stand up and fight but what happened to the golem after the ghetto is saved when his work is done Yudha Leo says the magic words from the Kabbalah only this time backwards and the monster crumbles back into clay. Really? Yes. Then he takes the Shem and the silver spoon of creation and he puts them in a box, like a, like a small coffin, a beautiful little coffin with carvings in the wood. And he hides it where only the rabbis will know where it is in case there is need for the golem once again. The end. Yeah. Ah! Golem! Golem! You will do my bidding! Man, you stupid teach. I didn't tell the cops! Yeah, you didn't tell your lady. You didn't tell the bid in there. You told nobody, right? Right. Right, look, I can prove it. Look, look, I, I got it right here, okay? Oh, teach, go. Ah! should be talking yet. You've got a concussion in your head. The doctor says you'll be fine. It was Frankie. F Frankie and, and the... I know who it was. Everybody knows who it was, Michael. Those buggers won't be doing it again, I can tell you. They're in bloody jail. Every one of them. And if I have my way, they won't be out till Jesus comes back. So you've nothing to worry about. Darling boy. Did anybody come to see me? Father Haney, he give you a blessing. No. I mean, the guys, did they come? No. What about the rabbi? Well, maybe they're not letting people in yet with a concussion and all. Just leave. 
नहीं पर John Tyler, 10th President of the United States, 1841 to 1845. Tyler succeeded to the presidency in April uh, 1841. Michael, you have visitors. Ma'am, Mikey. Hey, how you doing, Mikey? Ma'am, we thought we'd wait till he was feeling better before we come by. How thoughtful. So, you feel good enough to give us some names now, Mikey? Hmm? I told you I don't know anything. It was dark. Come on now, Mikey. Listen, we got those punks in the lockup. Thing is, I can't hold them unless you give us something. All right, cut that crap, kid. Everybody knows what bums did this, all right? Then ask everybody. Michael, I think... I think you'd better go. Oh, you do, do you? Let me remind you of one thing. You're here as a civil servant, so you'd better be civil and you'd better be a servant. And you'd better go. Ma'am. Mix. Now I have to go to work, but I'll be back before 11. Just sit here. Easy. Hey. Easy. Is that good? Mm. I'm okay. They're not gonna come. If they don't come, they're not your real friends, Michael. They think I squealed, Ma. Don't you get it? They think I ratted. They think I'm a friggin' stool pigeon. I didn't squeal! I did not squeal! Oh, I just forgot. Oh, great. Thanks. Enjoy those now. And I'll be back before you know it. Shazam. A friend of Michael's. Oh. A real rule. Oh, Rabbi. Come in. Thank you. With the Dodgers coming away, bitch. Rabbi! You came! Uh. <laughs> Rabbi Judah Hirsch, Kathleen Devlin. My great pleasure. Well, it's good to meet you at last. Thank you. We'll make yourself at home. Thanks. Oh, wait a minute, Bochy. Look. Look what I have to help you get better. Oh, man. <laughs> Thank you. A dunk, Rabbi. A shine em dunk. Look, Ma, look, look what he gave me. It's Jackie. Uh -huh. Is that good? Or, uh, sh should I put it higher? Ah, look what they've done to you. It's okay. You should have seen me before. I look like a, a baboon's behind. Pound <laughs> <laughs> cake, it's my favorite. We'll have a slice and a nice talk, eh? Sit down. Thank you for the pin. It was very thoughtful. Nothing, nothing. I know 
you are wondering why it takes me so long to come here. Well, I tried three times to get in hospital, but they won't let me. I think maybe Jews, they don't see much around here, huh? So I sit in my room and I wait and I wait. And I say to myself, a gefallenum helft God. What is Michael? Um, God helps the, um, the, the defeated. Oh, such a brain, Mrs. Stefan, your boy has. Thank you. Uh, it's nothing. Truth. And you have children, Rabbi? Uh, no. His no. wife's name was Leah. Ah. She was killed in the war. I'm sorry. I uh, forgive me. I didn't mean to be nosy. To be us? To be nosy, you know. To stick your nose into other people's business. Thank you, Michael. Ah, sticking a nose. Yes, good. Ain't nosy you're not. No. If you want to hear, I'll tell. No, no. Yes. Michael. No. What can it hide? Okay, okay. Her name, yes, it was Leah. We meet, met in Prague. She stands up in a gathering and says, right out loud, if Jews are going to live, they must be ready to die. For me, it is love at this moment. Why she loves me, a poor rabbi who prays instead of fights, I never knew, but she did. Anyhow, so at last we get married. March 7, 1939, small ceremony, no party, no joy. She says such things are wrong and Jews are in danger. She says when the Nazis are all dead, then we have a party. So, but next day she leaves, just like that. She has secret papers she must take to Poland for the underground, you know? I argue it isn't safe. The Germans are everywhere, on and on. But Leah, she goes anyway, because... Well, because she is Leah. But she doesn't come back. I wait for her. I pray for her. A gefallenum helft God, I say. Then a man comes from the underground and he says to me, Yuda, he says, they catched her on the border. I was there. The SS, they took her away. simple. I ran away through Romania, Yugoslavia, all the way to the sea. Long time, long, long time. And then to America. And then I put on my best suit of clothes, which is also my only sort of clothes, and I come here tonight. Excuse me. Oh, look. See, I didn't mean... No, no, Rabbi. Rabbi. When the Nazis came, why didn't you make the goal?
to pay with to keep telling you. God, Michael, you didn't die and go to heaven, did you? Might as well, though. Well, you can go to the Y. They're all chumps there. The church has a summer program. They're even worse chumps. There are classes at Prospect Park, and don't tell me they're chumps. They're chumps. It'd be easier if Dad was here, wouldn't it? I mean, money. And where we could stay. And the whole thing with Mr. G. Everything. Wouldn't it? Oh, my God. <sighs> yes, surprise. Thing is, they can't keep you in that ride hole if they ain't no witnesses. God bless America, huh? Yeah. So we got together. We decided there ain't gonna be no witnesses. Yeah, no yeah. canaries, yeah. no rats. Yeah. We already had this uh, discussion <laughs> with the beard. And uh, now it's your turn. We move aside. We want no trouble with you. Oh. <laughs> but you'll get plenty of trouble if you don't walk away right now. <laughs> I'm scared. You scared? I think I'm gonna piss my pants. <laughs> Idiots and cowards don't frighten me. Now stand aside. You go when I say you go, lady. Hands off, boy. <laughs> what? Ah! Oh. Oh. Come on. No. You get your hands off her! Us. Hey, Mikey. What the hell do you want? We gotta talk. About what? About how you walked out on me? About how you think I'm a rat? You ain't no rat. We never thought you was a rat. It's only some of the Falcons. They put us up against the wall. They said it ain't healthy to be hanging out with you. You should have told me. Yeah. You're right. 
The Falcons, they, they screw the Falcons. Anyway, what do you got to talk to me about? About Frankie McCarthy's got a gun. We was hanging out at the fire escape, you know, to beat the heat. Here comes Frankie and the rest of them. We, we could hear them as plain as day, but they didn't know we was there because we were real high up and like, like anyway. First thing Frankie does is he pulls out his piece. Looked like a 38. And they say they're gonna have a big party. In Oklahoma. Yeah, at the pool on Friday night to make sure everybody knows they're back. Get drunk. Get some names. And then get you and your mother. We heard it as clear as day. You see things clear as day, Jimmy. You don't. So? Yeah, well. Thanks for telling me. Three musketeers. But I didn't know what else to do. Rabbi Frankie's got a gun. He's gonna come after us. Friday night, Shabbos. <laughs> Two days is all I got. You have it. I saw when you told me about the little coffin. I saw you looking. And tell me what to do. Please. Please. Please, Rabbi.
We'll be moving. We can't live here anymore. But... There's a sickness here and we have to escape it. You're as dirty as I've seen you. Go on, take a bath and get to bed. Go on! Please, darling. Holiest white, holiest white, holiest white. Put the shim in his mouth.
the secret name of God. Spell it. I believe, I believe, I believe. Michael Devlin. Can you understand me? Can you speak? No. Is it... Uh, did I do something wrong? Oh, good. Because um, I never made a goal before. So, anyways, uh, do you know why you're here? Yeah. You might want to put some clothes on. Uh, all right, uh, well, there's got to be some around here, something big. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh. Mm. 
Here, uh, maybe you can, you can um, put it over your shoulders like, um, like a cape. There we go. Nope, wait, okay. Uh, here. <clears throat> yep, there we go. Okay, ready? Um, we gotta go to the star pool room, because that's where... What? Is, this, is there something I, I can... What do you want with that? That's... The papers don't know nothing. Nobody ever heard of Snow freaking out. <laughs> Damn, we better stop, because we got a party to go, huh? Yeah. 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 We're the brutes, anyways. Yeah, we're the brutes. the monkey, huh? What is this? What the hell is this? That's him. Hey, well, wait, what the hell? Who you got that, T-Super cool? <laughs> <laughs> I said, wait. When I say wait, you wait. Trouble, you should find the radius. I just want you to know, Frankie, that before he beats you to a pump, I never squeal. Yeah, yeah, whatever, teach. I didn't, but I should have. I should have squealed on you the first chance I got, you gutless bum. Hey, hey, hey. By the way, Peach, how's your mother? <laughs> 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 Look, you and the boys, you go down to the precinct house and you tell Abbott and Costello the whole stinking thing. And then you know what you do? You go and see my mother and you tell my mother that you're sorry for what you did to her. You do this and I'll let you go. But remember when I tell you, Frankie, this is your last chance. Thank you. Well, now, Frankie, come on. Says, um... You. Don't you 
We can go nowhere. Nowhere. Get out before he changes his mind. Stop! Stop! Get out of here! Stop! Come on, Harry! Stop. Come on, Harry. So, you got me all alone, huh? Nobody to see. Looks that way, Frankie. Yeah. The only one thing you didn't learn yet, Teach. You and your nigga, Frankie McCarthy. He beats back. Oh, my God. Can you do something for him? you been? I've been looking all over for Ma. you. I asked everyone. I almost went to the police. Ma. Why is it snowing? Ma, it's okay. Everything's okay. It's all taken care of. We don't have to move. We don't have to worry anymore. Do you understand? Rabbi, I'm Glazel Tay. Go 
heart exists. But it didn't work. No. No. It needed to work. The Nazis, they were in the street gathering the peoples for the camps. It needed to work. But I couldn't do it. Maybe I didn't believe enough. Maybe God I didn't love enough. So, how's Jackie doing? Oh, he's still home yesterday. I'm the fellow and I'm helped God. Yeah. I have to put it in my book. Yeah. So, my friend, it is time. No? What? What? Tell him to send him back, Michael. But man, he can't live. But he, he, it's not fair. No, 